Now, Egyptians have to brace themselves for higher electricity prices after President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi maintained that subsidy cuts will not be delayed. Now, the president says the country's economy is in such a bad state it cannot withstand any delays. He was responding to a member of parliament who wanted the move delayed to next year. Well, uh, joining us in Cairo now is Yasser Hakim with an update. Yeah, sir, welcome to the show. Now, suddenly, President uh, Sisi's response does indicate the price in uh, uh, power and fuel hikes uh, will suddenly take place this July. Give us some insight into how much prices are expected to go up. Well, uh, if you take uh, the five-year plan, it's a five-year plan by the government that was set a couple of years ago uh, to reduce uh, the the. the uh, the subsidies and I believe it will be around 20% if you calculate five years to try to reach your target so what's expected is about 20% for fuel and electricity uh, and this could be in July we don't have any confirmation from the government yet but this is just uh, our prediction about uh, these subsidies that are expected to be raised in the next couple of months Mm. Now, yeah, so the Minister of Electricity has said in the past that uh, this wouldn't affect the less fortunate. Uh, it also wouldn't affect factory and company consumers. Uh, they may see less of a subsidy. Give us some, uh, some of your thoughts on this and as whether it's true and suddenly who will be affected going forward. Well, the government concerning the electricity, it has not put one price. Uh, it has uh, actually divided the, uh, the, the community or, or the, if you can say the consumers into several levels depending on your own consumption. So uh, if you uh, consume uh, a certain amount, you are on one level that subsidies are high, that you have a good discount because you are considered uh, someone uh, uh, who is uh, a low income earner. Uh, if your consumption increases up a certain level, then the, they start to deduct those uh, subsidies and therefore the price of the uh, electricity bill goes up. And if you are a high standard, obviously you will uh, consume much more electricity. And I'm talking that you'll have uh, uh, ACs in the house, more ACs, TV, uh, TVs or electricity, uh, electric appliances, whatever. The more you have, so the more well off you are. And, and thus the more consumption you, you do and, and therefore the, the less subsidies uh, you deserve. So, uh, so the, 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 the limited or the low income earners will be paying less than the high income earners according to the system. As for the, uh, the uh, high uh, companies and, and, and uh, industries, high consumption, uh, obviously uh, their, uh, their uh, subsidies will be less because uh, they are uh, pr profit making organizations and therefore they will not need so much subsidies as someone who is a government employee or a low income earner who, 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 is, who takes a, uh, a monthly salary that, that is very low for his uh, own uh, life uh, savings. Uh, and that's why it's not as fixed uh, amount, it just depends on how much consumption you, 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 uh, you have every month. Mm. Well, yeah, sir. Uh, are we going to see some resistance uh, to these price hikes going forward? Uh, as we saw there, the president uh, was responding to an MP who was asking for postponement uh, of these subsidies. So going forward, are we going to see uh, more resistance from the people? Yes, uh, but not to, it's to an extent. Obviously, uh, people are suffering from the uh, austerity measures of the last uh, year or so. Uh, the, the, the devaluation of the Egyptian pound has shot prices up. We have an inflation of about 32%. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the, the money that's been allocated for these social welfare projects, for uh, small and medium enterprises, uh, for uh, the mega projects that have been established to get more uh, people in the jobs and get uh, and and obviously uh, the 10% uh, uh, rise in uh, uh, in salaries uh, that has been announced this month uh, all this is trying to balance out the the high prices and at the same time Egyptians know that Egypt is going through an, uh, a recession and an economic uh, rebuilding of the economy uh, and I doubt after two uprisings in the last five years Egyptians have uh, any power now to go into a more uprisings they know 
another uprising or another instability will actually lead to more economic woes rather than uh, improvement in the economy. So uh, I believe, yes, there will be some resistance, obviously, but not to an extent that would lead to any uh, unsettlement of the society of, or, or political un instability. Mm. Now, before we go further into this topic uh, with Yasser, let's take a listen uh, into what President LCC had to say. Do you know what you're talking about? Did you study the topic? Do you think it's easy to ask for delays in something like this? Delays? Do you want the country to stand on its feet or stay dead? No delays. Please, study things before you talk. Now, yes, sir, of course, you heard what the president had to say there, but we did just see the commissioning uh, of a Siemens uh, generation plant in the country. That will add about 37% to the national installed uh, power capacity. So, yes, sir, what does this mean for Egypt's power supply going forward? I think this is very good news for the country. Uh, it's 37% uh, will go a long way in, in, in two uh, phases. First of all, it will help very much in the consumption uh, in, that the supply and demand of electricity would be up to standard. We don't see any more uh, shortages of electricity like we've seen in 2013 and 2012 and 20, uh, after the 2011 uprising. Uh, now we, the, 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 the cutoffs are, are, are very rare that you, you have electricity cutoffs. Uh, at the same time, Egypt will go into a situation where it can actually uh, start exporting uh, electricity, uh, and this is uh, vital in that it will help even bringing in more uh, of the uh, vital uh, hard currency that Egypt needs for its uh, budget uh, and foreign reserves. So uh, this will be a turning point that will be uh, very important for uh, revenue, very important for the industries as well, that we will have enough electricity to move the industries that Egypt are trying to establish and the foreign investments that Egypt is trying to uh, bring to the country. It will have enough energy to operate uh, normally, uh, not like before uh, in the last five years. So this is a positive uh, step for the uh, economy uh, in the near future. Mm. Well, many thanks, Yasser, for those insights. Yasser came, of course, joining us there in Cairo.